2020, exam 2, question 9, financial. Okay, so we've got a recurrence relationship month to month um, of Samuel's savings account. And uh, we need to work out B4, which is the four months, and round the answer to the nearest cent. So we can just stick this recurrence relationship into the calculator and get our answer. So the first thing you do is just take the starting point, uh, the initial value, and put it into your calculator. So you put 5,000, press execute, and then uh, then you've got to put in the rule part, this part here. So you just start typing times. You might get a little cross uh, on yours rather than a star, but it's all times. And this 5,000 is the answer from the previous question. So when it says ands times 1.003, it means whatever was on the right-hand side. And so this is, remember, this is very important. This is B naught. This is B1, okay? And so to get out of four months, you've got to press execute a few more times. And there you go. So now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, you get B2, B3, and B4. And that's what we want, B4. We want to the nearest cent. That's two decimal places. The seven looks at the zero and says, I'll stay on the floor. So we get dollars five six zero point two seven. I've noticed a few students recently have been putting the dollar symbols on the right-hand side. Um, it's on the left-hand side. Uh, it's one of those weird things. You say dollars uh, second, but it's actually the, the thing you put first. That's to stop people changing checks. That's literally the reason. So that's our answer for that. A lot of people, uh, because they work in shops, forget that like although one and two cent coins haven't existed for a long time, they still exist in computer land. Okay. So uh, even though physically they don't exist, make sure you're still rounding to the nearest cent, not the nearest five cents. Now it says calculate the monthly uh, interest rate percentage uh, for Samuel's savings account. Now that's related to this number up here, which is actually in two parts. And I'm going to do that in different colors to show you. So the one part that represents the principal, that's the one. And then the other part, which I'm going to show in blue, that's the interest rate, but not as a percentage. So you take that number, which is the 0 0.003, right? And you need to do monthly, not annual, and then just times that by 100 because that's a decimal to a percentage. So that's going to equal 0.3% per month, not per annum. So read carefully. I think a few people did the annual interest rate by mistake. Now it says after one year, uh, the balance on his account was this. 5.83. Interestingly enough, if you just keep tapping on your calculator um, until you do 12 times, you do get that number. Look, there it is right there for you. Um, you could have done that. Um, or you can remember make a rule and just do to the power 12 and you'll still get the same number. But they gave that number to you. I just want to show you how you can do that on your calculator. So this number is important. What they're saying now is if Samuel had deposited $50 at the end of each month, so now your recurrence relationship uh, let me just erase this bit, this missy bit up here, is saying this blah, 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 plus 50 is now your new recurrence relationship. So you can do exactly what you did before to get the 5183. You can just say, okay, put the 5000 in and then press execute. And this time when you do a recurrence relationship, you're doing that plus 50. And so this is your B naught, this is your B1. And then you, just, you can press it 12 times. Now you can't do that shoot ahead rule formula. You can't you can't do this uh, because of the plus 50 thing. All right, that's just annoying, but you can't. So you can press that 12 times and you would get this number, which is basically $5,793 uh, because we're rounding the answer to the nearest dollar. So uh, we want to know also in this question, how much extra money will be in the savings account after one year. So it's the difference between those two numbers. Let me just show you another way to calculate this. Um, so you could have used the financial solver. So you can see the original recurrence relationship uh, without the plus 50, you can put it in here, 12, 3.6 annual percentage rate, 3.6, ah, you have to take that 0.3 into times by 12, um, minus 5,000 because you put the money in the bank, uh, no payments, and you get the 5183. So that's a good way just to check that your, your technique is working. 
so that you haven't accidentally put the wrong interest percentage rate in there. It's just a good thing to double check. It doesn't take long. Um, and then you go, well, no, 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 no. I want to do that plus 50. Now, plus 50, because you're adding 50 to the bank, but in the financial solver, money going to the bank is away from you. So that's why that has to be a minus 50. And then you do get uh, the 5793 that we said before. So then, because we want how much extra, how do you want the computer does that? Extra, it's going to be 5793 minus 5183, which equals uh, $610. A couple of ways to do that. Get used to the financial solver. It's fun.